Hi everyone! Right now we are in Cusco and we're not in like a central historic area or whatever touristy area. As you can see, if you look around, around here it's just all local. All the local people walking around like so busy today because it's Saturday. And I just came out of my hostel because the hostel owner told me that this is this market today it's a handcraft and all this handmade thing market just close to the hostel like 10 minutes walk or something we're getting there probably like five more minutes walk so i decided to just like brought like bring you guys in here first so that we can walk along the street and see all the things together before we get to the market um yeah this is so local, like the local area. You'd be surprised like in the center and where all the tourists hang out. All the, all the food, compared to the price here, around there it's just so expensive. And around here it's just such a local price. You can literally find a meal with like a set of appetizer, the main dish, and a drink for five solas and that actually how much not even two dollars it's like 150 or something like that it's quite easy sorry and it might actually loud too wow they're selling like piece by piece that's cool I'm pretty sure we're going this way. And those, they're selling gelato, which is ice cream. It's like the handmade one where they put in the, the plastic bag, small one. Those quail eggs, they have it like that everywhere also on the street cook it for you just right there small little one. Oh, I'm so cool I just had this orange juice one cup for 250 that's like also not even a dollar and um, the added time when I was at the market there's some local just told me about this secret when you finish drinking the juice you tell them so that actually means you ask them to refill it for you for free. Yeah, gotta go. And that is normal here, like don't be ashamed or don't be so shy because people do it here. Like, and then you get a little more on your cup. See, there's also like drink on the street. We're getting all like this. Woo, cool. Oh, that's the grilled egg one. I'm so full, cool. otherwise I'm gonna eat something and then eat something else. Oh, Ooh, strawberry looks so good. Six per kilo. Yeah, I might get some fruit back to the hostel. Me gotta watch. Pop it on. Also, I've been asked to be really careful around here. The pickpocket. Oh well. Yeah. I think we go straight for a little bit and then we find the market on the left. One more block, ten left. You see it. Avocado. Cheese? Look at how they sell the cheese. Oh, I'm so cool. Wow, that's so busy. Wow, actually really busy. It's like a little 
This is the type of place that you come for like golf. Um, you see, you have like soup, and then you have main course, and then together combined is five solace. So that's pretty good. And then I think it's getting too weird. People look at me. I want to go here. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh, this one looks so good too. I remember. So, I have to And then the market is supposed to be on the right side. This is also a really common meal. They just eat like deep fried pork with potato. And by that, I really mean just deep fried pork like that. I want some. Is it here? Yeah, I think so. Wow, this is so busy. <gasps> Look at that! Inca cola, Inca cola. Oh, this is nice. Whoa! I think that is where. We came for. See, look at that. Like way back there. Oh, that's a shop just selling the picarones. That's cool. I actually have never seen some place that sell this, especially just for picarones before. So, Oy, this is so cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna come walk here more often and not in the center because in the center it's just all the same thing. Like it's pretty because of. Like you know the old city, old building and stuff, but there's not actual like Peruvian, Peruvian things. Just like we've been seeing. Like I asked the hostel owner where to get the alpaca that local actually eat, and then they say no, no local eat alpaca. It's just like tourist thing. So I guess it's just been. It's so busy. This, this, this is not just only like handcraft, but also um, the second hand also, which I'm not really into, but I'm gonna have a look anyways. So the market called Baratillo, which I'm not so sure if it's related to something where is the handcraft no wow this is so busy remind me of thailand somehow oh 
Oh, that looks so good. Tamales, I guess. Maybe we'll come back for this. Handcraft of the sun, There. And this only happened, like, only open on Saturday. It's called Saturday. Well, <laughs> I'm not so sure what I'm looking for. <sighs> what a caps and hats. So, we're coming the right way, a little bit further that way, and then we find it! So it's a second market, and also... The weather is so nice. You see how people are like wearing all this, but it's not even that cold. But at the same time, it's not hot at all. Like it's really cozy in in my what in my hoodie I like this kind of weather oh here we get in here so now it's okay getting there oh they're making it just right here Shit. That's like alpaca fur. Señor, señor de comida. 
what I can tell and what I can see right now is that you see like in the center and in all the tourist spot all the textile all the bags and everything it's pretty much the same thing with here I can see it's a little bit like different than different from what we have been seeing so it's nice to just get them something a little bit different here I guess was well, huge this is another like powerless street from that one like on this one again oh my And then that's how they say it. You have to see that. I don't know what it is, but they're eating it on the. All right, I think that is pretty much it. <laughs> no surprise, really. But it's nice to like walk around and see all those like different type of the handcraft stuff there. And a lot of like local street food and stuff, which I like. So, I'm gonna go for some food a little bit. But for now, hello, ciao.